New at 11, hundreds of Rhode Islanders gather outside the State House for a health care rally. They say the nation's current system has failed them, and they're voicing support for the president's plan. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado spoke with some of them tonight. He's live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Karen, the vigil, one of 300 held nationwide tonight. Supporters say they hope it gets Congress to quickly act on health care reform, but others say everyone needs to step back and take a closer look. On the steps of the State House under a clear sky, a couple hundred hold candles and raise their voices in support of health care reform. I'm a small business owner, and over the last 15 years, the, the price of health insurance is crippling us. Nancy St. Germain is one of many who spoke to the crowd in favor of a public health plan. I had a brain tumor that had been growing in my head for 20 years. She lost her home after being laid off while recovering from surgery. It was cha a choice between paying my mortgage or paying for my health care. And no one wants to go without health insurance after a brain tumor. But a small group gathered with the message, it's not the right time. My main concern why I do not want this health care reform is because nobody can explain to us how we are going to pay for it. But these supporters say the bills before Congress to reform the system will make health care better for all. Catastrophic illness would be one of the major fears for me. I mean, it's hard enough just to afford the major, uh, the regular medical bills. But if I were to have a catastrophic illness, the only, the only real uh, assets that I have would be a house worth $97,000, and I'd lose that, and then I'd be on public assistance. Well, the reform supporters say they'll hold these vigils once a week. There was also praise for Senator Ted Kennedy tonight. He was a strong supporter of health care reform before he died. Live at the State House tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.